Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double A Eastern League. It's a big one. Game three between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Bowie Bay Sox. Settling in now, Jacob Hayward. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1 1 home. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And there's one down now. Ready now, Joe McCarthy. Joe McCarthy. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Herb, a 27 year old, he throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Digging in, Stephen Padilla. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the ball game. He looks sharp. Here now the 2-2. Smoke toward the hole. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. That is cool. The first baseman, Gio. At the plate now, Gio Brusa lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Here now is Jose Rondon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. So coming to the plate, Mason McCoy. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. Into the box, Caesar Avila. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Popped him up. Russo waits on it. He's got it one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Ripken. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. McCarthy comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Now in the box, Ryan McKenna looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. McKenna. One one. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Misses. Ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Digging in, Ryan Howard, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Standing in, Kean Wong, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. 
Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. 3-2 pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The third one leads off first with one away. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Tyler. Tyler. Now the three and two pitch. Full count still. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Right. So now to the plate, number 34. A little bit outside. Two and one. Two and one to count. Swings through it for strike number two. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Oh, what a dive. He gathers the throw. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the inning. At the plate, now Jacob back. Hayward. Quite as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with Hayward. that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The set and the 1-1. One -one. His down. pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Bullet back up the middle. McKenna will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Last half of the second set to go and that'll bring in the second baseman Ryland Bannon. The 1-1. One -one. Taken strike two. One and two, count. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Digging in, Martin Cervenka. Martin The 3 2 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward is there. Two down. So stepping in, Willie Young. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. To short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and standing in the outfielder, Joe McCarthy. And the 3-1. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. How about it? Riding forward now is the D.H. Stephen Padilla. He singled his last time up. Heading out towards shallow right. Nick Dean has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Digging in the switch hitter, Gio Brusa. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Gio Brusa.
swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that looked up. Ryan Howard. In now, Ryan Howard. Two and one. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. Ready for another chance. Kian Wong. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes yeah, yeah. out number two. Back. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Hit back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores, and he is in there. Standing in now, Taylor Heineman. Two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. <laughs> Leading off the inning, TJ Nickteen, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Right. That's right there at the belt, one and two now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So striding in, Jose yeah, Rondon. He drew a walk his first time up. Okay. Rondon. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Line drive base hit. in now Mason McCoy and he fouls this one off the one two there's a fastball that misses third inning already a three two ball game and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield Brusa is there two down Standing in, Caesar Avila. Caesar Avila. Now the 2 1. Chopper to short. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. In now, number 34. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 2. Is laid off, and the count runs full. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Out into right center. Well hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting. The right fielder. 
Jacob Hayward. Into the box now, Jacob Hayward. Oh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a flare out toward right center. Nick Dean is there and he makes the catch for the out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now with the plate, Joe McCarthy. McCarthy. The 3 2 pitch. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Cole Sulcer answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. A ball and two strikes. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it 4-2 to two now. The first baseman, Gio. At the plate now, Gio Brusa down the first baseline. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. And the score is the runner from first. It's now six to two. Now Ryan. So now Howard. to the plate, Ryan Howard. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now that second baseman, Kean at the plate, Kean Wong, no. just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Oh, double play ball to second, four. A tag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan Ripken. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of the pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on the and bat. missed for the first the down. Ryan. Now the 2 1 pitch. One out, nobody on. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the running play. Two down. At the plate, Rylan Bannon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Weakly hit to third. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now, Zach Houchins. In his last appearance, he singled home a pair of runs. He 
And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now back. Now to the plate, Taylor Heineman. He's working on a one for two game so far. One and one, here it is. This one's flared toward left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The center fielder, the 34. Right. Standing in now, number 34. And it's one and two. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Cervenka. The throw to first is in time, one down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jacob Hayward. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Set. Here comes the 1 1. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Skied into straightaway right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Christian Alvarado gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Joe McCarthy will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Three and one. Stephen Padilla would be next. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Digging in and looking for more, Stephen Padilla. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and now it will be the catcher, Martin Cervenka. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Three one. Willie Yan, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Swung on and chopped out to the shortstop. He's right there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Stepping into the box, Willie Young. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Digging in to try it again. TJ Nickteen. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. To 2-2 two and two now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. And that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. Stepping in now, Jose Rondon. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Now, here it comes. Hit back toward the mound. And that finds its way through for a base hit. In now, Mason McCoy. 
one and two. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. To two balls and two strikes now. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Gio Brusa. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll get in there safely. Now that Ryan. Into the box now, Ryan Howard. No, that's Fastball just inside. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Slow roller out to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now with the play, Kean Wong. 0 for now 2 for him to this point. Kean Wong. The 1-1 one, one home. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One out and a runner on second base. Rip down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Now batting, Zach Houchins. Runners are at first and second with one away. Into center field, line drive base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now back, Pepper, Tyler. Into the box, Heineman. Taylor Heineman. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Out of play, off to the right. Another 2-2. Two, two. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Trey McNutt enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 73. Play. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Cesar Avila. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Fastball laid off well below the knees. This is skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Ripken. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So digging in now, Ryan McKenna. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. To the plate now, Ryland Bannon. One and two now. 
One and two. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. Tyler Irwin enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 47, Tyler. Number 34 will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now batting. Striding in, Jacob Hayward. Ball for three with an RBI in this one. This is line to left. Avila is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Stepping up to the plate, Joe McCarthy. It was a walk in his last trip. Runner at first here, one man out. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. Ready once again, Steven Padilla. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. That misses and we're even at two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Matt Karasiti gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 53. Into the box now, Martin Cervenka. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that's the first down. So striding forward now, Willie Yan. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Set and the 1 1 pitch. 2 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and two. two, ball, two That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Trying to pick things up where we left TJ. off. TJ Nickteen is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Set. Here's the 3 1. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Three two pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Dionis Almengo comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Gio Brusa will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Oh, 
trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. The pitch. Good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batter. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Howard. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ryan Howard becomes the first out of the inning. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now back, third base, Zach Houchins. So now to the plate, Zach Houchins. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field, and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Francisco Jimenez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Francisco Jimenez. At the plate, Taylor Heineman. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Two and one. an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one number 34 will be next fouled off the next three two this is on the ground over to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out digging in once again number 34 switch hitter batting left here well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Two and two. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Stepping in, Jacob Hayward comes in 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. The 2 2 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Rondon. Last time through was a base hit. The 2 2. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. Another try at 2 2. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The batter, not Mason At the plate now, Mason McCoy to the left side, but it's well fouled. A runner at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. And 
he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Ryan Halstead comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Cesar Avila will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Ah, uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. Stepping in now, Ryan Ripken. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. Standing in now, Ryan McKenna. This one also hit deep to left field. Looking up is the left fielder at the track. The wall out of here. And how about that? Back to back to back home runs. Melvin Adone is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 72, Melvin Adone. In now, Ryland Bannon. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still zero, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs. It's been really ball. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. That's the ball. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Down and now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The one-two. He went with the off-speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Payoff pitch on its way. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Right fielder, DJ Nicky. To the plate now, TJ Nickteen. And he fouls this one off. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss. And that's a much needed first out there. Now batter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jose Rondon, trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing fake. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side.
Jake Flock winners from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Riding in once again, Joe McCarthy. And we'll see if they look to put him on again. The 2-2. Two -two. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get fouled. Once again, a 3-2. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. and two. Hit back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man support now to open the ninth. Now that designated hitter, Steven. At the plate, Steven Padilla. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. McKenna comes on now, and he has it one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gio Brusa. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. One and one, here it comes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runners on first with one down. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Looped out toward third. And another base hit. He's four for five in this game. Now that the bookstop, Ryan Howard. So now to the plate, Ryan Howard. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it to second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by his step. Stepping up now, Keen Wong. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches. You... Oh, and he can't come up with it. Oh, and his game of hide and seek ends as he's tagged out to end the inning. Carlos Sano, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Carlos. The plate, Mason McCoy is working on a one for three thus far. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Cesar Avila. He's one for four for the game. The 3-1. Hit hard down the line. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Into the box, Ryan Ripken. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Ryan McKenna will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Yeah, and his last that bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Ryland Bannon, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Mm, Might have gone after ball four there as this one's fouled away off to the right.
That's off the end of the bat foul, and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Pops this one up. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now back, second baseman, Rollin. Stepping in now, Ryland Bannon hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Into the box, Martin Cervenka. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. He brings it in, and they are going to take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up two games to one as this one is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Plenty of offense here in this one as we give you one final look at the line score. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through and it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matty, he definitely led the way. You'll see there, he turned in a four-hit performance, and that definitely keyed his guys to victory. Twelve to nine, the final in this one. The Richmond Flying Squirrels have taken a two games to one series lead. Wendell and Batista is the winning pitcher of record. Tyler Herb couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us.